Okay, for my water bottle, I have my passport, my bag. Am I missing anything? Oh, of course, the fourth and fifth graders. Okay, okay, come with me to church, guys. Okay, I think I'm not everybody sure. meet Victoria. Hi. Fun, you have to say, what's up, fourth and fifth graders? What's up, fourth and fifth graders? There we go. <laughs> We're here now, let's go inside. That's you guys, the 45. What's up fourth and fifth graders? Welcome back to Stuff with Martina. Today, we're gonna talk about when oh, that's not fair. I'm sure you said that a million times before. Maybe something like this happened to you. Jamie, you need to do the dishes. What? No! I did them yesterday. It's not my turn. That's not fair. Yes! Oh, Riley, what are you doing playing video games? You have to go to bed. What? No, I don't want to go to bed right now. I'm playing video games. That's not fair. All right, everybody, so you will be having homework this weekend, okay? Um, I expect to have essay written by Monday. What? That's not fair! I didn't want to have homework this weekend. I had things I wanted to do. Wow. I know, right? Pretty bad. But hey, listen, I've been there before. I've definitely said that to my parents before. But next time we're about to say that's not fair, we have to think about it. Is it really not fair or are we just complaining? Because if your mom asks you to do the dishes, you should still do them, even if you already did them last night. If your teacher assigns homework on the weekend, she's not being mean, she's trying to get you to learn. So sometimes when we say that's not fair, we're really just complaining. And we know that Jesus doesn't like when we complain. In fact, why don't we look at the Bible for some examples? Jude 1.16 teaches us that people complain when they want things to go their way. When you complain against something, it's because you don't like it and you would rather do something else. Like, you don't want to go to bed, you want to keep playing video games. But Philippians 2.14 tells us to do everything without complaining and arguing. The Bible makes it pretty clear. There's no stories, nothing you have to analyze. It literally says, do everything without complaining and arguing. So next time you're about to complain about doing something that you don't want to do, Remember Philippians 2.14, don't complain, hold back, and do what you're asked to do, because Jesus loves seeing that. And here at The 45, love is the name of the game, and one of the best ways to love on other people is by helping them out, even if it's not what you wanted to do. Alright everybody, that's it for this week's video. See you next time. Bye!